Another big story we're following tonight, Arizona State University is fighting to get a group of Chinese students back to school. So far, nine Chinese students have been denied entry back into the United States. ASU says it's working with all levels of the federal government to find out what happened. Team 12's Nicole Zymek is live in the Alert Center with what we know at this hour. Nicole, why were these students detained? Well, Mitch, that is a question that even the president of ASU doesn't have an answer to. Now he's sending these letters out to the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Homeland Security to find out. A group of nine Chinese students anxiously waiting to hear whether they'll be able to continue their studies at ASU. According to the university, U.S. Customs and Border Protection refused entry to the students at LAX and told the students they needed to pay for their own tickets back to China or be banned from the U.S. for five years. According to ASU President Michael Crow, all nine students had all needed documentation to enter the U.S. Now the university president raising the alarm over serious concerns about the custom and border protection process, saying CBP has provided no information on what transpired. The students are undergraduates at Arizona State, coming back for the fall semester. U.S. Customs and Border Protection says the students were deemed inadmissible to the United States based on information discovered during the CBP inspection. U.S. immigration law lists more than 60 grounds of inadmissibility for visitors, but CBP is not specifying the reason for detaining these students. Meanwhile, ASU's President Michael Crow still asking for answers and working to get the students back. And this and this isn't the only case of an international student being turned around at the border. Just last week, a Harvard student from Lebanon was sent back home after an immigration official allegedly found him posting political views that opposed the U.S. We're live in the Alert Center. Nicole Zymek, 12 News at 10.